Hey guys, it's Ryan from RNA Music. It is Saturday. It is vlog day. <laughs> so exciting. And I am driving to Greenville, Texas. All by my lonesome. Because uh, Paul stayed up too late. And he had to sleep in this morning get his beauty rest for the beauty, beauty bass player, bitter bass player beauty rest. <laughs> And uh, Angela is actually on her way to Laredo to see her parents because our boys, Nicholas and Aiden, are both in Laredo. And they stayed at Nana and Papa's house for a little bit. So, I'm all alone. Let's go on an adventure. Good morning, guys. Hey, um, so I am here in Georgetown. Um, this is uh, our pit stop on our way to go get the boys. I'm here with Savannah. Say hi, Savannah. <laughs> she was my riding buddy, so I wasn't alone. Ryan's still at the shop because of the holidays. We had to keep the shop open. And so um, I'm here. I'm about three and a half hours, three hours, 45 minutes away from the boys. So it's like a pretty good midway trip. And um, we're about to check out of the hotel. We got here at like almost 11 ish 10 30 11 ish and uh and now we're checking out it's 7 30 in the morning and we're gonna go get some breakfast and get going so join me i'm about to uh pull into the mcdonald's to get myself some breakfast here in canton texas and I'll be headed on to Greenville to Academy Sports and Outdoors to buy a rifle. Yeah, so I'm going to get a little 22 rifle uh, for me and the boys to go out and target shoot, shoot some cans, shoot some bottles. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we live in Texas, y'all. We live out in a, a rural area. I grew up on a farm with uh, woods and trees creeks, cows, coyotes, bobcats, snakes, uh, occasionally there's a mountain lion roaming around here, <laughs> a panther, <clears throat> anyways, I don't want to go into the whole like gun debate thing and all that, because I get it, you know, some of you guys live in other countries, and you know, it's not, it's a different culture, there's not firearms, everywhere like there is in America, so, you know, I don't want to get into the debate about should or shouldn't have, you know, whatever, but we live in Texas, we live out in the country, you know, and uh, we all, I mean, I grew up, grew up learning how to shoot, my uncles, my mom, <laughs> my dad didn't teach me, it was my mom and my sisters and my uncles, uh, my uncle Ronnie, I love my uncle Ronnie, uh, and my uncle Jeff, was a Vietnam veteran. Uh, they they taught me how to shoot when I was a kid, and so and Angela's dad, you know, taught her how to shoot when she was a little girl. So it's just one of those things. But um, anyways, <laughs> I'm gonna go get a rifle. We have a little 22 that was Angela's great great grandfather's, which is pretty cool. But I want to get something a little more modern for the boys to kind of shoot on and just practice target shooting, you know. So. That's where I'm headed. Except now I'm gonna get some McDonald's. So excited. It is wet and cold and rainy, but we made it.
museum too. It talks about like, Texas history and all kinds of natural wildlife and, and everything. It's really neat. So we're gonna go in and then go to the restroom and not run into the wall. <laughs> but see it has like it's very Texas. Whoa. So, so neat. All kinds of fun stuff. Uh, we made it out of Greenville, Texas, made it out of Academy with everything that we needed, and uh, the little map quest thing kind of took me the back way home, which is interesting. So I came through Quinlan, Texas, now I'm in Wills Point, Texas, which is not that far away from Canton, I'm about 15 minutes from the shop, which is great because I got to get to RD Music and open the store. <laughs> I might be a minute or two late. The weather's been uh, not super awesome. Cold and wet and rainy still in Texas, like December should be, I guess. At least it's kind of cold in December. Like two years ago, we had tornado warnings on Christmas because you know it was 70 degrees and then it would drop to like 40 degrees. So that's tornado weather right there. But it's nice and cool right now, and I am driving through Wills Point, Texas at the moment. Soon to be back in good old Canton, Texas at RNA Music. If the person in front of me will go a little bit faster. They are just taking their sweet time. So I'm gonna pass them. And get on my way back to Canton. Sounds like Tool. Blur this out. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I wish I could. I haven't figured out how to do that yet. It's a new song. It's called Rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like rainbows. Sounds like rainbows. And unicorns and butterflies. Happy rainbows. Mm -hmm. So what have you been doing? Preparing the truck, gym. You actually went I to actually the gym. I actually went to the gym. And then RNA music. And then RNA. <laughs> I almost, I, I literally, honestly sat outside for 15 minutes of the gym going, eh, let's just go rides. <laughs> ah, but you went to the gym. I did. It's getting a little chunky in the center. My arms were starting to look like spaghetti I eat. So. <laughs> I need to go to the gym, probably. I should just get on the elliptical I have at the house. There you go. Pretty much why I did that, and then I did some dips. Dips. Dips and pull downs. I'll probably just come over to your house and record guitar instead. That sounds like a plan. Yeah, we should do that. We almost got one song done, and we got five in the works. And 37 others partially done. Yeah. <laughs> we'll have an anthology by the time we start and finish. <laughs> yeah. This is our beginning and farewell tour all in once. <laughs> The entire catalog is released at once for your auditory pleasure. No, I wish. Oh. That's the Dolly Rots. Oh. Dolly Rots. Well, see, I was like, oh, is that a new one? No. My new one's that Battlestar Galactica. Mm -hmm. <laughs> For now, it's called Battlestar. It reminds me of Battlestar. I mean, yet, the bass drum, it's or the drums in my head are like a heavy bass drum, and you know, all toms. 
This is me. They take like a fool. Guitar, desk, quarter notes. Yes. <laughs> quarter notes on the guitar. That's what I like about your music. I was saying, the bass does all the work and I can just drum some chords. There you go. Super easy. There you go. Barely an inconvenience. Then, then on his records, I'm playing eight notes. <laughs> and what he's doing do. all the work. That's what you gotta do. What was the last one you did that I just... I wrote a bass line in five minutes and sent it to him. Oh, yeah, yeah. That was for the Vola thing. What was it? I don't remember how it went. I don't either. That sounded about right. Yeah. Do -do -do. Something. It was in D. Let's well, start on a D. I don't remember it. I do like the Acacia song you wrote, though. You should do yeah. something with that. I should make that. He writes good music. That. I mean, you get to hear some of it, but he doesn't ever hey. move past. He'll go, hey, I need this for a demo. We play it. And I'm like, oh, that's pretty good. And he's like, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We'll do something with it. <laughs> and then a year later, he writes another demo. <laughs> I just need to take time off to do music. It's all the dang kids taking up all my teaching time. I don't know where to put my arm. They didn't have a little... No, that would be stupid. The thing you pop up, put your arms so I just rest right here so you don't go... <laughs> just put some grip, grip tape. Skateboard grip tape. That'll do it. There you go. <laughs> Alright. Well, I guess I'll be over at your house later and people can continue the video there. There you go. So exciting. <laughs> So we just left my mom and dad's, got the boys, Hello. yay! Hey. And now we are stopping for food and we just found a Taco Bell, Burger King, and Subway combo store. So, here we go. Yeah, that is three in one. That's some three in one magic going on there. Yeah, insane. Well, that's it for the shop time today. I had a one hour one-off lesson earlier today actually right when i first got to the shop about 15 minutes later i had a one hour lesson to do with a guy uh older gentleman came in just kind of wanting to brush up on some things and learn some new things so we did a, a one hour what i call tune-up lessons so i had that to do and then just a bit on the computer after that selling stuff sold some strings and picks and some reeds <laughs> saxophone reeds yeah and then Paul came by, and so now I'm going to go home and take care of the dogs. Got to let them out, let them eat. And then I'm probably going to head over to the Bitter Baseman's house so we can work on some music. I'll see you guys there. I'm so excited. I'm excited to see the boys and Angela tonight. Yeah. Excited to see them. All right. Let's go on to the house. Okay. So we are in Bernie, and there is an unnatural amount of blackbirds flying through the air. If you can see them above that sign over there, this target sign, and over here, and on top of that restaurant, and, and here, and over there, the little black specks, it looks Duh. like dust. It's actual birds, and they're flying everywhere. And if you can see back that way, the swirl of unnatural birds. <laughs> That's unnatural. That's just not. They're all heading south for the winter, I guess. And this is their meeting place. This is just the creepiest thing I've ever seen. I'm gonna drink some coffee. They are just swirling and part. swirling and swirling and swirling and swirling all around us. It's like a tornado, but it's made out of birds. As long as they don't try to land, I'm fine. If you land, if they don't land on us. I mean, if we sit here long enough, I'm pretty sure they probably will land on us. It is so creepy. Hail. Anyways. <laughs> Okay, let's 
try again. Ready? Yeah, I think so. Is that your cookie monster? It is. Somebody got that for me after my surgery for some reason. It was a gift. It was a gift. Oh, they said they couldn't find Oscar the Grouch, so they got me a cookie monster. Dude, it's more cookie. Cookie is more. We just spent like an hour and a half trying to program drums on Easy Drummer. Ah. Notes. <laughs> Give me all your notes. What's that? 
There's not a shortcut for create note. Yes. Or it's called easy for a reason. Yeah, it's obviously super easy. I to, think we got what? Three measures? <laughs> no, it was like 12 measures. Or well, that was after copy and pasting. <laughs> they don't uh, need to know. That does not need to be called easy drummer. It needs to be called well, the like, problem is if you want to program a very specific beat and the loops that they give you aren't quite what you want. I'm sorry. I put right in cool stuff. Mm-hmm. No. And I'm sure there's a learning there's probably an easier way to do it than the way we did it. In the end it will never, be awesome. It doesn't really matter. It does. <laughs> probably not. <laughs> well, I'm gonna go home and wait on my family. I'm sure. Oh, we'll you're rubbing that in? Oh. You're rubbing that in. Got, you got a family to go home to? Yeah. I, I'm glad for you, man. I'm glad. I'm just gonna go finish my wine. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Just leave the wine glasses on the floor. Leave the wine glasses on the floor. <laughs> Drinking alone in my bed. <laughs> You're living the dream. Living the dream. Got the full bed to myself. Sprawl out. <laughs> Nobody, nobody's stealing your covers. Uh, <laughs> gotta go to Walmart and get another bottle. <laughs> <laughs> Sparkly. Sparkly. Oh, hi there, Sarah. Just make yourself comfortable. Yeah. Are you good? Do you miss your master? Do you miss your Nicholas? Huh? Do you? Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. You ready to see your Bubba? I know you are. The dogs have had a rough day because I've been in and out of the house. I've been in a few times just to come let them outside to go do their potty business and get some water and food. But other than that, they've been in their little kennels most of the day, so they don't tear everything up and poop on Mama's floor. Right, Beebert. Right, Beebert. Yeah. But Daddy's been here to let you out. Uh huh. About three times today. Y'all been able to go out, eat. Oh, hello, kitty cat. Hello, kitty cat. Uh, it's about 10 o'clock, 10 p.m. I just cooked a burrito. Oh, it exploded. No, man. Dang it. I knew I should have only put it in for a minute. Just talked to Angela. They just left Waco, Texas. So they're about, they're about two hours away from home. So they should be here maybe a little bit before midnight. So probably 11... 1150 or so So I know they've had a long long journey today. I think she took some video of the travel trip today I didn't get a whole lot of video over at Paul's house, but I got a little bit <laughs> So we were working on one of our songs that's going on Paul's EP So we got some got some work done on that But I'm really excited to see my boys and to see Angela, of course So yeah, we will uh Maybe get some video when they're here. If not, it's been a crazy long day for all of the lollies today. Super crazy. I was up early. Angela was up early. She woke me up, actually. <laughs> so I've been running all over East Texas. She's been all running all over South Texas. And yeah, so crazy day. But I hope you enjoyed our vlog. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Till then, keep the music alive. Music needs you. We need the music, we need to keep it alive for the next generation, and hope you enjoyed checking out small town family life with mom and pop business owners. Anyways, thank you guys so much. Thumbs up, leave a comment, appreciate it. Talk to you soon.
Those cans had zero chance. It smells so good. Those cans stood no chance. No, they did not. They're just awaiting their punishment. <laughs> they will be punished. <laughs>